to me i also view her series as a a big thumbs down to the entire uh, way traditional media works right how network media works she's like you know i'm going to take matters in my own hands i'm going to be the star of my own videos right nobody can tell me what to do the content she's doing right now it has started to feel dated yeah yeah, yeah. i respect the editing style because we have grown on that editing style but it has started to feel you know old now mm-hmm. even look at the thumbnails used by michelle kare they are yeah. clearly inspired by mr beast right sure another interesting thing shubham that i just noticed is these videos take time right so these videos take time and sure she's playing a long term game here it's not about releasing weekly videos every every time but i honestly if i'm being very honest i would be more interested in watching the bts of these yes, uh, videos exactly. rather than Correct. the videos itself right that will be more genuine the, yeah that will be more genuine i think michelle needs to find that one niche she can't be doing you know these characters like the societal characters because at the end of the day they are limited right Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Creator Deep Dive, where we go through what a creator is really doing, where they've come from, and where they're gonna go. Uh, for this week's episode, we have Michelle Khare that we're gonna be discussing. But before we speak a bit about Michelle, let me introduce Shubham to you. Shubham, how are you doing, man? I'm absolutely buzzing. Oh, awesome! To have you're this buzzing, conversation you're buzzing today and. Uh, the creator that we're covering is also quite a quite a champion and quite quite energetic i would say so i think buzzing is the right word um shubham she calls herself youtube's dead devil okay like when i look at her description when i look at her youtube description her bio the first thing that's there is uh, you know under her name and subscriber account is youtube's dead devil with the devil emoji so i think she's got that entire persona about her she's adventurous uh, you know she loves challenges which we'll obviously speak about uh, more as well um and and i think she's a very interesting and a very exciting creator uh, in, in in today's times what are your initial sort of thoughts about her well i tried michelle kare's content okay and i found it boring found it boring okay yes interesting and you know going back to that daredevil thing i don't huh. think it's exactly daredevilry that mm. she's doing on youtube she tries mm. things but mm. i feel that there is a certain distance between you know the mm. professional level of the things I mean, very toned down version of you know whatever mm. she's trying to do with police, FBI, whatever. Yeah. So I would disagree with that. Mm. And yeah, I mean, that's what I thought of her content. Sorry. Interesting. Sorry, people, don't kill me. <laughs> no, I mean it's interesting because for me, um, I I respect the fact that she's trying to do she's trying to create, and of course. I honestly haven't encountered much of her content, but I've mostly seen her covered on, let's say, the Colin and Samir show, the editing podcast, and that's when I got introduced to her content, where she does a lot of documentary style, uh, you know, uh, videos, which was really cool because essentially, if you look at it today, if you look at a Mr. Beast video, it's about the idea, right? It's about how bizarre and crazy it is. You don't really look at Q, oh, how how good is the cinematography? No, Mr. Beast is yeah. speaking in this in that fast style that we all sort of know, like you know the the. the quick cuts the quick edits no short stays for more than 2 or 3 seconds but michelle kare really takes her time with all her uh, videos you know with with the footage with the editing with the color correction and it just feels like to me michelle more than anything it just feels like a very curious person i tried this i tried that and i in fact read a comment as well on youtube which says that uh, you know she is basically the try guys exist but they try mostly food and other bizarre stuff but she's yeah. a try girl she's a actual try girl of youtube who sort of tries all of these professions and like you know being a firefighter fbi agent uh you know everything trying to run a marathon in a desert, desert so uh very curious uh she's a very curious personality for sure and she's got the athletic build right she's been doing all of that for a very long time but what to me shobham is very interesting is how i still see her you know youtube side is definitely there but she mostly veers on the traditional media side right like what are, what she yes. covers right like is basically something and challenge accepted is the name of her show but i think she could be a you know a, a traditional media star too like you know in a in a movie yeah. in a in a tv show she of course hosted a tv show called karma on 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 max on hbo max or 12 uh, hbo max uh, which is about again you know kids and challenges and what not but i think i can really veer uh, you know see her veering towards that side even more Yeah yeah she has a very traditional presence i would yeah. say and uh, the documentary style that you spoke about it also feels very traditional right yeah because this format is like it's very beaten down format yeah. it's been done like in the past 40 years by different different yeah. networks she's doing on her own and you know the best thing i like about her i tried series is that 
we get to see these professionals who have very caricaturish presence in you know our pop yeah. culture like these, a firefighter uh, i guess it's always yes. caric- caricature like <laughs> yeah. this like oh yeah yeah so i mean that's the thing that comes out of our content that i really like that's what keeps me watching her content mm. but i agree with you she has a face not exactly face the presence of a very you know traditional media personality correct she looks more like a you know let's say a network personality than a youtube personality yeah which is which is interesting that you say that because she's actually tried a lot and you know this is i found out through my research as well that she's actually been trying a lot to get like her place in in traditional media as well and it's unfortunate that of course you know they have all of these quotas and like you know people you have to be a certain way a certain kind and uh, oh you're this color so probably you should be more indian be more this and that so they have their whole entire thing going uh, in, in the us in terms of how networks function so naturally there wasn't a fit there and f- to me i also view her series as a as almost like a you know as as like a a big thumbs down to the entire uh, way traditional media works right how network media works she's like you know i'm going to take matters in my own hands i'm going to be the star of my own videos right nobody can tell me what to do right and i have full liberty full control and obviously it costs a lot of money like there's no denying that but she has brand deals she has uh, you know her partner is a chief creative officer garrett he yeah, he sort of yeah. helps her out a lot and uh, a great team that she's, she sort of functions with so i think she's been this outlier when it comes to oh traditional media sure i wanted to be a part of it i didn't become a part of it now you know what i'll use youtube for it so i think youtube i don't think it's the ultimate destination for her right i think youtube yeah. for her is a conduit it's a way of uh, it's a way of being an outlier to the traditional the way the traditional media works and what not so i think uh, that i find very fascinating as to how you know a person can use this new age media platform to sort of you know go and break the mold and, and really achieve what they set out to achieve and and this yeah. actually reminds me of another short video shubham that uh, a youtube short video that i saw of hers which is uh that you know she became a part of a the marvel uh cinematic universe and it was obviously like a she actually didn't become a part of it but she was invited and what now she was doing that video so i could almost see that twinkle in her eyes that you know what damn you know i was like i want to be uh, here yeah i want to be here i wish i was in a in a marvel you know superhero franchise or where she was doing that so i think it's very interesting that you know you have those dreams you still have those hopes and dreams but you're achieving it in a very different way in a very different style yeah yeah exactly and you're right because you know this is also a very interesting you know place she's in like on youtube she's you know trying to try many things and this whole culture of you know looking at a creator trying something yeah. i don't think it fits her fits yeah. her you know because just you know uh, look at the video where she's uh, boxing with andrea bortes right mm. we used to watch boxing matches because we want to know who's the best boxer mm. in the world right mm. but that's not uh, what the match is about it's about just you know the two creators trying something innocuous mm. beating each each other up in a very you know not very professional kind of way mm. so i feel like you know her heart is not in there mm. i don't know i'm i'm speaking on her behalf mm. the video gets many views but i didn't like those videos because i want to see the best people going for the you know for the best things mm. Mm-hmm. i so think she can be do you feel it's be... a bit disingenuine like it's not genuine basically That, yes of course because you know, see she won the fight right mm-hmm. not andrea because mm-hmm. it's her channel yeah, at the end yeah, of the day right yeah. there are some claims right she has trained for longer than she has claimed correct correct yeah but i don't i don't want to get into that because for me sports is all about finding who is the best you know team in the town who is the best person in that you know in the sport mm. but fighting these uh, seeing these creators you know fighting becoming mma fighters that's not my cup of tea mm. and i don't think she is also you know interested in that she would yeah. be more interested in you know what you're saying is like getting into the mainstream mm. doing her let's say she can be a great uh, documentary filmmaker sure. i i think sure so yeah yeah it's interesting right because now 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 when you say it i'm like challenge accepted as a as a format as a storytelling format like you can do a lot of things and everything but i think it can get tedious right I, like oh i tried doing this that's great that's that's fun but like I know that okay there are going to be a lot of struggles and you know there's going to be a lot of like you know blood sweat and tears along the way but you'll probably overcome that. So I think that arc for me right that entire arc obviously there are failures and she doesn't succeed in everything she does. But to me I'm like oh yeah I know what will happen here or it's just gets yeah. a bit tedious. So I think perhaps um there's merit in sort of changing the of course people say it if it ain't broke if it ain't broke don't fix it. But then I feel that uh slowly 
there will be a time when I think she will have to delve into other formats as well. And why I'm saying the Shobham is is because if you look at her channel as well, right? Uh, she's done one live video, which was like four to five years ago. She was doing a Q and A, so I'm not even considering that, right? Like she, that's not she's not done. Uh, she right. doesn't have that live connect. Like, let's say like a like a Jabi did, uh, and who relies so much like the entire Cine Desi channel. They love yeah. doing those live streams because it's such a great engagement thing. So Michelle, I don't think she cares a lot about that, right? In terms of community, in terms of what she's doing, you know, with community posts and whatnot, she actually teamed up very recently with Seek Discomfort. Right, which is Yes Theory's sort of brand and their motto and whatnot, and they actually use a merch line together. So she's, I think she's a great businesswoman, right? She's she's sort of getting all of those uh, very streams of uh, income coming through. Whether or not it's with her fans, I don't think it's too much, right? Because even if you look at shorts, right? If if I'm going through a shorts tab as well, uh, barely anything, right? Of course, great views here as well. Like I'm looking right. at 16 million, 52 million, uh, three million and whatnot. Uh, it's always you know very good higher range. But I don't think she really cares about shots too much. I think her main focus is is on creating those stories, is on creating those documentary films. But my entire quandary here is that how long will it go, right? Because how long yeah. will I see Michelle Kare in a situation? It's a template, right? Like, think about it. Michelle Kare wants to try something. Uh, the situation is going to be very precarious, going to be very difficult. Uh, there will be a lot of struggles along the way. And then she'll overcome it. So I think that arc for me, I'm like, I'm not getting to understand. It's missing. Person. Yeah. Yeah, right. I the might be understanding, is missing. Oh, that, you know, oh, she's a great, uh, she's got, she's a very big athletic personality and she's doing great, which is fine. But I feel that she can do uh, more of, um, you know, other type of content as well, which is, uh, which which might be slightly more accessible. Uh, because again, these documentary shorts, think about it, YouTube as a, as a channel itself, right? YouTube as a, as a format. I don't always go to YouTube to watch like documentaries and like, you know, watching these, these uh, storytelling arcs and whatnot. Sometimes it's just mindless. Sometimes I just want yeah. to sort of while away my time while I'm having my lunch. And I don't want to know what, uh, you know, what a person went through and how deep it was. I think this is very premium uh, t- tier content when you're like, you, you pay for it and it's on a streaming, like a Nebula. Like I think her content is like Nebula content, right? Which is on the streaming mm, platform. That's a good one. Can, the intent is like, oh, I want to watch a documentary style to think this thing today. As a lay YouTuber, I don't think, uh, you know, and, and again, that's warranted by the fact that she doesn't lean into those editing styles as well, right? Her storytelling, her edits aren't in that that Mr. Beast thing that we already discussed. So I think that for me, there's a dissonance there. And sure, you can do it. Like, I mean, uh, the videos are doing great, but I'd love to see her do more types of videos. My question to you though, Shubham is, what types of videos can she do? Like, should she do vlogs? Should she do like, because she's done vlogs when she was at BuzzFeed, right? And she was very popular at BuzzFeed. So is that one possible thing? Is live streaming there? Uh, probably a podcast, I guess. I don't know. What, what are you thinking? What are your thoughts on this? I think she should definitely go back to vlogs. Yeah. Because she's, you know, athletic. It shows yeah. in her every video. People would love to see, you know, what her exercise regime, regime yeah. is, what she does in the morning, what she does, you know, before sleeping. I think she should go back to that. And podcasting, I think she can also do because mm. the Colin and Samir episode I saw, fantastic. Yeah. So, because, you know, one more thing, the content she's doing right now feels, it has started to feel dated. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I respect the editing style because we have grown on that editing style, but it has started to feel, you know, old now. Mm. Is it, I mean, she's, are, you, are you saying yeah. old, Shubham? Because, because of, let's say, the new age like the Beast or Ryan Trahan sort of things? Or like, do you think it's old just because... Yeah, of course. Sort of... See, Mr. Beast has changed the game. Hmm. Even look at the thumbnails used by Michelle Kare. They are yeah. clearly inspired by Mr. Beast, right? Sure. Even sure. though she's keeping away from the editing style. So I would say, see, Mr. Beast also does many challenges. But yeah. there is a there is something on top of it. Like he, you know, gives away money. Hmm. There is a niche that he has picked, right? Hmm. No other YouTuber is doing that. And Mr. Beast has completely, you know, taken over that. I think Michelle needs to find that one niche. She can't be doing, you know, these characters like the societal characters because at the end of the day, they are limited, right? Mm. You can't go out and like, I tried to become a farmer. I think that that's something that she can do. That's, that's a good idea. Michelle, if you're, yeah. if, you're, if you're watching this, I tried becoming a farmer in the East Coast of uh, US or something or like the South part. And, and yeah. she needs to travel. She needs to travel mm. outside USA. Mm. Because, you know, her videos are, they strictly feel very, you know, urban American. That's a very good she, point. Oh, damn. Mm. She should go, let's say she's half Indian. She should uh, come to India. She should go to Africa 
यूरोप गो ट्रेवल डू सम थिंग्स देयर ट्रेवल और आई डोंट नो लिव देयर सो आई मीन यू हैव टू शेयर दैट यू नो अमेरिकन लाइफ स्टाइल अ बिट टू यू नो रीडिस्कवर योर सेल्फ Interesting. No, and I also loved your parts about the vlog thing, right? And this is something if you if you remember, Shubham, we also spoke when uh, when we were discussing Pokemon or Pokemon when we were sort of doing her, you know an episode on her as well. That she has veered into this style of uh, because of course first it was only games, 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 live videos, this that. But then she was like, you know what? I'm probably going to do a bit of uh, lifestyle vlogging as well. And I think that works in a flavor favor, right? Because yeah, you want to see what uh, what a Pokemon, what she's doing as a as a dress up routine, her fitness routine, you know how she's going for a uh, how she's you know shooting her looks and whatnot. So I would want to see that with Michelle uh, right now. I would say uh, it's like a uh, I, I mean. not the best types of content strategies i feel which is if you're only doing this right and another interesting thing shubham that i just noticed is these videos take time right so these videos take time and sure she's playing a long term game here it's not about releasing weekly videos every every time but i honestly if i'm being very honest i would be more interested in watching the bts of these yes, uh, videos exactly. rather than the Correct. videos itself right because that'll be more genuine the, yeah that'll be more genuine that'll be more okay i don't have to have you know a drone shot come in like this And like yeah. you know, voice over, uh, you know, coming out like this because it can be there, but I, I can't have that. Like every month, I can't, I can't, I probably can't consume that. A, a BTS vlog, sure, it helps you, you know, build more content as well. Plus, uh, I think just of the fans, right? Like the engagement. If you see, if you we've done a deep dive of her entire YouTube strategy, she's not doing too much for engagement. It's just very self indulgent. I feel that oh, I, I tried this. Now you have to watch it because. you like me as a character and she's very likable yeah. she's very like yeah. i really like her personality but i think there needs to be more shades and more colors to uh, yeah and your and skin needs to be in the game man yeah. because just giving you an example she did an ancestry dna test right yeah. she got like 2 million views on that video and around the same time or a bit earlier than that the try guys also did it and yeah. they got 22 million views right why try guys sound more genuine or look more genuine to me is that because they talk about food Mm. they are actually eating it right mm. the food is actually going inside them the skin Correct. is very much in the game but Correct. when you are trying to become fbi of course you are not mm. you know you not been given the best uh, exercises to do yeah. and you know the best regime to do so, i mean she needs to find that you know that niche where her skin is more in the game feels mm. more genuine and yeah explore the world go out and yeah Yeah, I'd love to see a travel show. Actually, that now that you mention it, she she did host a show with kids, but I'd love to see a host like a a travel and and lifestyle, or probably like a adventure, you know, show as well, um, which does not need to be so high key and high produced, right? It can also yeah, be low key. It correct. can also be slightly lo fi uh, with with the production style, and I think that'll be a good mix rather than only relying on this uh, high profile stuff. Because as you said, uh, I think it is getting dated. I would want to see more of. Uh, you know more more laid back content yeah this is very intensive i need to be at every every step of the way that oh this is happening that is happening uh, you know in terms of the storytelling and what not uh, but you know i really appreciate what she's done she's created a very interesting brand for herself uh, she's very popular with obviously as you mentioned the us crowds as well and kudos to her to sort of break through the mold yeah. of you know uh, you know of being a brown creator and it's always think you oh, brown characters are like you know side characters and what not but she's really sort of she's shining through in that sense and uh, I'm sure traditional media is noticing, right? We we, uh, we are speaking about this on a YouTube channel, but I'm sure there are those network executives sitting somewhere at, at Disney or at NBC. They're like, you know, crunching what? the numbers. Yeah, crunching the numbers. We should get Michelle Carey. We should probably, uh, you know, uh, make a star in a in a film, or we can, you know, she can actually become uh, a part of the the Marvel Cinematic Universe uh, in the future. But uh, that's been it from uh, from our side on this episode of Creator Deep Dive. Do tell us your thoughts on Michelle Carey. What do you like about her content? What do you not like about her content? And where can she go from here? So I am Shrivar. I am Shubham. All right. We will see you next week. Bye bye.